Can we talk about the um, Captain Crozier of the USS Rosa? Which one, what? Captain Crozier, the, who was removed, Captain who was removed as the commander of the USS Roosevelt. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you saw the videos of sailors cheering for him as he left. Our reporting shows that some sailors have said that they are worried to re-enlist because they are not convinced that commanders are taking care of their health and taking care of them. No. Can you, what, what do you say to well, them? Well, I don't know much about it. I can only tell you this. Here we have one of the greatest... Here we have one of the greatest ships in the world, nuclear aircraft carrier, incredible ship, with thousands and thousands of people. And you had about 120 that uh, were infected. Now, I, I guess the captain stopped in Vietnam, and people got off in Vietnam. I, perhaps you don't do that in the middle of a pandemic or, or something that looked like it was going to be. You know, history would say you don't necessarily stop and let your, your sailors get off, number one. But more importantly, he wrote a letter. The letter was a five-page letter from a captain, and the letter was all over the place. That's not appropriate. I don't think that's appropriate. And these are tough people. These are tough, strong people. I thought it looked terrible, to be honest with you. Now, they made their decision. I didn't make the decision. Secretary of Defense was involved, and a lot of people were involved. I thought it was terrible what he did. To write a letter? I mean, this isn't a, a class on literature. This is a captain of a massive ship that's nuclear-powered. And he shouldn't be talking that way in a letter. He could call and ask and suggest. But he stopped in Vietnam. A lot of people got off the boat. They came back, and they had infection. And I thought it was inappropriate for the captain of a ship to do I want to. I don't want to comment as to whether or not, but I agree with their decision 100 percent.